All right, let's talk about mm. the weather down here on Earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, you know, it's, it's almost like we're being teased by this monsoon. Seriously. It's like, give yeah. us something. At least for the folks in the valley, anyway. Yeah. You in the high country, man. They can tell me. Yeah. It just, it just keeps on coming. But yeah, mm -hmm. here in a little bit, I'll let you know when us in the lower deserts yeah. finally get a piece of the action, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Well, we're pretty quiet throughout. It's just hot. It's, as Yetta pointed out, it's slightly less humid, but yeah, you still feel it out there. Scottsdale, good evening. You're 108, 102 in Gilbert, Glendale, 108. Right in the heart of the city, uh, 107. Heads up in Maricopa, uh, Maricopa County as we're heading into tomorrow. Air quality alert remains in place. Actually, that's been extended. Very stagnant weather pattern combined with excessive ozone levels. Take that work, uh, work out inside for tomorrow morning. Those dew points, not the highest we've seen them recently, but they're still up in the 60s. It's pretty juicy out there. Check out all that moisture seen on the water vapor imagery. And in fact, you can pick out where that ridging of high pressure set up pretty close to the four corners, the Colorado Rockies. That's what's keeping all of this moisture firmly intact. And that's why day after day we've been stuck with these chances for showers and thunderstorms. And of course, once more carbon copy to the last couple of days, the high country stuff mainly. Flash flood warning continues for this portion of northwest Maricopa County until 7 o'clock this evening. Uh, in some spots, up to three inches of rain have already fallen, and it just continues to come down. About 20 miles to the west of you in Gila Bend, that's where another flash flood warning is out until 7 o'clock this evening. Again, more isolated spots you've picked up anywhere from two and a half to three inches of rain. In this section of Mojave County, flash flood warning is out until 630, just to the north of Route 66. Peach Springs, this flash flood warning is just to your north, so should be okay, but that rain just keeps coming in buckets. Sometimes we've been seeing those moderate to heavier downpours. We're going to time everything out for you. If you are in the lower deserts, the valley, chances of staying dry, pretty good from here on out this evening and tonight. Wake up tomorrow morning, look at that. Pretty quiet, easy peasy, smooth sailing, just some lingering clouds. More high country afternoon isolated storms popping again by tomorrow afternoon. You're getting that daytime heating and instability. That's where the instability has been the greatest across the higher deserts. For tonight in the low valley, you're mainly dry with lows in the upper 80s. Very toasty out there. We'll head into tomorrow with some more high desert afternoon storms. Lower deserts, you should remain dry with our high temperatures near 108. Going to the pool tomorrow should be pretty good, but yeah, it is going to be on the humid side out there. 102 by lunchtime. Temperatures near 106 by 2 in the afternoon. Okay, here are going to be the days. Fingers crossed for us in the lower deserts. If we are going to be seeing showers and thunderstorms, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Those three days we're going to pay extra close attention to. And as a result, with those widespread storms, that'll possibly cooler highs into the 90s. All right, <laughs> thank you.